Welcome back to my channel from my balcony in hotel quarantine in Bangkok and in today's video what I'm going to be showing you is the Anantara Riverside Hotel in Bangkok so as you know to get into Thailand now you need to do a two-week quarantine which works out to be uh, like 15 days all up so I'm going to show you the whole process that I took and show you this amazing hotel hotel has three rooms you can choose from they have the deluxe room the deluxe river view room which is what I'm in now uh, as you can see the river view room has a nice view of the pool and the courtyard and also looks out onto the river and then there's the deluxe river front room which uh, doesn't look out into the pool but you got that uh, open view of the river so the room I'm staying in uh, costs 77,000 baht, which is on the higher end for the ASQ hotels. I think they're starting between 30, 35,000 baht and going up to who knows. So mine's probably maybe a mid to upper range uh, price bracket, but you know, you get what you pay for. And as you'll see in this video, um, some of the luxuries and comforts involved during your stay makes it all well worth that money. So before booking your ASQ hotel, you need to have everything sorted, like you know your visa, if, if your country requires an exemption. A lot of people asked in my last video to tell them the process. Honestly, uh, I don't wanna do that because it's ever changing. So what I recommend you to do is go to your local country's Thai embassy website and on there you can choose the visa, you can choose, you know, the, you can go through the process, what you need for your situation. That's better than trying to get information from YouTube. When I was researching for the hotels, there's one web, uh, website that listed all the ASQ hotels. So I'll list that below. You can go check that out and you can check all the hotels in your price range and what you uh, are interested in. For me, I was lucky enough, I saw one friend and he was posting all these pictures of for the food and the view and I said I'm just going for that one that made it really simple for me because I had seen like absolutely horror stories I'd like before I saw that I was like looking for um, on YouTube like different ASQ hotels and people's other vloggers and their experience and I saw like the food was disgusting imagine being stuck 15 days and you got horrible food it's cold the internet's not working, I mean, disaster. So, I mean, I saw his, his experience and it looked good to me, so I just went ahead and booked it. So the cost, um, when you book it, you pay half, you put half deposit, and then when you arrive at the hotel, you pay the other half. So if you are booking the ASQ hotel, what you do is you email the hotel, tell them your flight when you're arriving, and they'll work out the length of the stay, and um, they take your flight number, when you're arriving and they pick you up at the airport and bring you uh, back to the hotel so it's all all done for you so obviously when people are booking the ASQ hotel um, their consideration is obviously you know the price so they're, they're looking at a different price bracket um, you know the food you know what's the what's the food like you know the, the comfort another big thing is like the balcony you know you want fresh air when you're here and um, of the internet as well you don't want to be in a place with bad internet so you know for the for the price um, you know I started off looking like mid-range and once like I said once I saw my friend posting I thought why not spend an extra you know five hundred thousand dollars I'm gonna spend this much already and make it a good experience instead of something you know I'm going to a crappy hotel and it's gonna be 15 days of hell why not treat yourself and have something nice and something you can look forward to nice food each day which I'll show you in a minute the food the food's awesome here so you know you need to weigh that up you know like I for me I haven't traveled for a year like most of us so you probably got some money that you didn't spend that you can treat yourself to a better hotel and the way I look at it so I'm gonna be here for probably six to nine months um, so instead of like the way we're going to be traveling is different so we'll probably instead of the way we usually travel go you know three four nights here and then bounce around we'll probably stay in you know one month rentals you know and longer term so we're going to save a lot more money longer term that way so I thought I could use some of the money 
into um, the ASQ hotel so I could enjoy the experience. So it's, it's, it's really up to you, you know, if you want to, some people just like cheap it out and they do it hard for 15 days and then go and party. That's their mentality. Or you can put a little bit extra and really enjoy, enjoy the process. You know, this is probably, hopefully a once off. We don't have to ever do this again. So why not make it a good experience and enjoy it? And honestly, like the, the last 14 days have been great. I, you know, I've had stuff to do. I kept myself occupied and I enjoyed the process. And just look at this hotel, you know, like it's got, um, you know, nice, nice bed, nice bathroom. You know, the bathroom's clean. It's got like a monsoon shower. You know, there's a desk and chair to work at. It's got the nice balcony, you know, it's got the river there. So you, you get nice breeze coming in off the river. So these are the things that are important to me, even though you like, you can't use the pool and things like that. Um, you know, having, having these small luxuries and good food um, is, is really, really important. So let's look at the food, what everybody wants to see. So they deliver the food, they come and leave the food in the front of your room, um, out front of the door, and they press the doorbell, and then you go and get your food. The first three days, they deliver the food in plastic containers, and after you have completed the COVID test and got a negative result, then they give you nice plates and china that you can use. So all the breakfast was good. They had like healthy option. Um, also, most days I had eggs benedict, as you can see. And they also had like Asian option, vegan option. So there was lots to choose from. Lunch is like usually really big as well. You can choose like an entree and they also had like a main meal you can choose from. So all the lunches were really, really nice. And you know, in total, like all the food was really, really good. Dinner was like a bit smaller, they didn't have the entree, but that's, that's really good because after you know you have a big breakfast, big lunch, you don't really need a bigger dinner. And they also had theme nights as well. So they had like, uh, one night was like uh, Indian night. They also had like a, like a chicken night and an Italian night. So that was really interesting. And I finished the last night I was there. We had Thai, Thai street food night, so themed food. So that was really, really good. So. I was always looking forward to the food so that like you know when you got good food coming it makes your stay really you know enjoyable so your first three days um, before your COVID test um, you're not allowed to leave the room at all and after you get the first uh, result back you can then leave the room for one hour per day relaxation time you have to book that you get like a paper where is it it's like a QR code and you scan it here you know what I'm like with papers and you scan it and you can book your time it's like morning times and afternoon times um, just so there's not too many people in the same area at once and also uh, meals you book your food every day by just scanning the QR code and you choose your food every day so if you haven't had the COVID test yet I'll just show you this footage of me getting my second test um, it's it's not that bad I mean it's, it's uncomfortable but it's not that bad um, Uh, that never gets easier. After you have the the second um, COVID test, then you're allowed to like that's like a day 11 or 12, 11, and then you get the last three four days where you can go out and enjoy the gym, and uh, you go to a like different designated area. Um, so you get a, and you can also use the restaurant as well if you want to use the restaurant. So yeah, that's pretty much you know. The whole process, there's not much happening in here, guys. <laughs> there's not much happening. If you are here, like, make sure you bring stuff, like, you have your laptop, and um, I brought, like, Apple TV, like, to connect to the TV, but to watch movies, but I didn't even connect it. Make sure you got, like, things to do, and the time will go quick. If you come here with nothing to do, I mean, you then the time will, you will struggle, and you can't drink in the ASQ hotels either. So I hope that brief rundown of the Anantara Riverside Hotel um, helped you a little bit if you are come, planning to come or you're just interested in watching my video who knows um, I hope that did help you 
So with our future plans of our travels, I haven't booked absolutely anything. I haven't booked, we're going to be staying a few days in Bangkok and catch up with Sai. So in the next video, make sure you watch that. That will be the reunion of Sai. But I think after that, we'll go to back to Sai's house for a couple of days. She said there's a festival or something like that. And maybe after that, we'll be going down, maybe to the south, you know, around Phuket. So we want to go check out Phuket and just hang out there for a while and, you know, enjoy our time together. But for videos and that, we really haven't thought much about it. Um, but, you know, I'm sure we're going to be making some really nice videos. I know a lot of you guys can't travel. And so we want to make some nice videos that you can relax and watch at home. So hopefully we can do that for you. All right, I'm out. Look at this. So after 15 days being locked up in that room, I'm released. I'm at the front of the hotel now. And man, looking out into that river, 15 days, crazy. But you know, it was a good experience. It wasn't that bad, but I'm just happy to be out now. I'm gonna go see Sai now. And you'll see that on the next video. So look out for that one. I'm sure the videos will be a lot more exciting now, now that Sai is back in them. But guys, until next time, dream bigger, much sooner, peace. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until next time, dream bigger. <laughs> I forgot.